when we went to a land of Mizoram, in between China and mainland of India, and I was led to bring them talits, prayer cloths, and with a star and the lamb and scriptures on it, and stones from Israel because they were being torn because they considered themselves to be the lost tribes. They had Jewish traditions, and they were, people were trying to win them over away from Messiah. So I wanted to bring something to put it together. We come to the land. I had the talits, these prayer cloths with these scriptures on it, and these stones from Israel. We come there. We get there. They tell us they have a book of prophecies, 100 years old, that says one day the children of Judah, the Jewish people, will come flying to their mountains and bring with them the stones of Israel and the garments of Israel. Or being led to an African city to minister and then the Pope of the Yoruba tribal religions, totally pagan, considered to be a god himself, comes to the service and renounces his title as a god and, re and acknowledges the true God, the one God of the universe. And from there we go to the shrine of the high priestess. It turned out, I won't go through the whole story, but God had already revealed to us about this tribal God called Ochun, and we didn't know it. The place we were, we're in the land now of Ochun, and we, we go to the high priestess of Ochun, and she's following us. We're praying, and she's following us in her robes, and, and she's waiting, and someone gives her a Bible, and she receives it. And they tell me, I go to her, I'm share, I share the gospel with her, with her attendance on the side. I ask her at the end, do you want to receive the Messiah, Jesus? She says, yes, I do. And then we pray and she receives it. We still have the picture of her beaming, beaming with light. And then I, I tell her, God, you don't have to seek these things anymore. God will, these are the oracles of God. This is the revelation of the true God. God will reveal. We give her a Bible. God will speak to you through this. And I just open the Bible at random, and it opens up to the people who dwell in darkness have seen a great light. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts, or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey 07644, USA. Hope of the World is dedicated to the goal of spreading God's word and salvation to every land and people. We do this by spreading the word throughout the world and sponsoring compassion projects to the most poor and needy around the earth. To get in touch or have a part in God's work, just write to Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Or go to hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821.